inspector might at least have waited until morning. I mean, a job like this in the middle of the night, it's not to my liking. Come now, Miller, stop complaining. The inspector needs a post-mortem right away. Doctor, I saw all the victims. What a horrible sight. I'm used to seeing death. But I assure you, I got sick. And they think a werewolf did the killing. According to the people around here, it was the man whose body is waiting for the post-mortem. Ignorance and superstition won't disappear easily from this part of the world. Too bad. Daninsky, right after he came to Altsay, this reign of terror commenced. Werewolves, <laughs> silver bullets and all that nonsense. Men are shot up to the moon today and people still believe those stupid old tales. Huh. There are mysterious forces on this earth. Things that science hasn't explained as yet. Hmm. Yes, sir, things that lead people to a fate worse than death. And there is very little that science can do. I don't believe in superstition. Dr. Hartwig, mm -hmm. look at the scar. It's pentagonal. It's the mark of the werewolf. I'm going to make an incision in his chest. Dr. Hartwig, don't you want to start on the stomach? He's supposed to be a werewolf, right? According to the old legend, if the bullet that killed him is extracted from his chest, he should come back to life. Let's see. Please, will you get me the other bistry? I'm going to take out those two silver bullets. And I can assure you, our Mr. Daninsky will be as dead as ever. Oh, <laughs> 
essay you're writing. It should be finished by now. I'm still working on it. It's not easy. There's so much to write. Let's see whether I remember. It's something about black magic. Which crap? Professed worship of Satan. And the Inquisition in France. Am I right? Hmm. Fairly close. Lately, we've come across a really most fascinating character. Guandesa Darvola de Nadesi. Hungarian countess who lived in the 11th century. Hmm. There's quite a legend about her. A rather horrible one. all the known procedures of black magic. She took part in the Sabbath and worshipped Satan. The Inquisition tried to condemn her, but strangely enough, all who came in contact with her were eventually murdered. To preserve her beauty, she practiced an ancient ritual that was handed down through all the mistresses of black magic. She drank the blood of young virgins their young bodies of all their blood, she disposed of her victims in a unique way. Legend has it that she was a vampire and that her lover, discovering the truth, killed her the only way possible. He stabbed her with the silver cross of the Mayenza chalice. <laughs> we should have already beached the village, don't you agree? Yeah. Soon it will be dark. And we should try to find some direction. We should try and find some gas. What a place. It makes me so creepy. Perhaps Count Dracula will appear. I'm sure that he would invite us to spend the night at his castle. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> That's not funny.
nous pouvons mourir. Katio. in the shack, looking at the chains. She has found out everything. There's nothing to find out, now that I've locked the shack. Elizabeth, leave them alone. Elizabeth, please do as I say. Leave them alone. We should leave. It's a matter of common sense. Personally, I don't mind walking for a for hundred miles. Or a thousand miles. Look, he explained all about his sister. Don't you realize she almost killed me? I don't trust her sweet little brother anymore. God knows what they're both up to. Genevieve, listen to me. There are circumstances you, you don't understand. 
Genevieve, he needs help. He's so terribly unhappy, and his sister is sick. Something terrible happened to her. Waldemar is trying to help her. And what did he tell you about those chains and the bloodstains? There's plenty of game here, deer and wild pigs. The former owner used to skin the animals in that shack. Well, I don't know. I'm warning you. Believe me, if that mad woman appears again, I'll leave so fast you won't see the dust from my shoes. Elvira, be careful. Don't let your soft heart get you into a situation you might regret. Come on, let's go on downstairs. We'll take our papers and documents with us. He seems very interested in helping us. Too interested, I think. With your papers here, the ones I have, the key is the ruins. All the evidence points to the place called Devil's Crossing. That's not far from the chapel of St. Anne. There was a monk, a disciple of Satan, whose name was Baptiste Verdun, who used to celebrate Black Mass according to the directions set forth by the Countess de Nadesi. I know where the crossing is, near the ruins of the chapel. Then is it far from the monastery we saw? It appears that it is. I never thought of it. Very stupid of me. The tomb, near the chapel. sure the countess is inside. Besides, I want to take some photographs. They'll be sensational. And then we could be famous. <laughs> As you wish. But I don't want to be here when you and Waldemar are opening her coffin. I'll be waiting near the ruins of St. Anne's Chapel.
says that if the silver cross were pulled out of her chest, she would regain her power. And then it says the breath that will bring her back to life will be red. That's only a legend. Better get Elvira. She didn't want to stick around for the unveiling. We should find her at the old chapel, I think. Better put things in order. more interested in our friend here. Perhaps. But everything is so strange here, so absurd. I'm beginning to think nothing is real. Maybe this is a nightmare and there are no dead who come back to life. And all the weird things we've seen just don't exist. And Waldemar doesn't exist. Even though he held you in his arms this afternoon. He too will be part of your delusions. Like all the things that are happening since we started on this god-awful trip. If Marcel were here, I'm sure he could probably give us a scientific explanation. Perhaps someone is just trying to frighten us. Elvira, do you believe in God? Yes, of course. Why? Then pray. It's all we can do. Pray with all the faith you have. I'm thirsty. I'm going downstairs to get some water. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. But don't be long. I don't want to be left alone.
must be stabbed by the woman who loves him. Then his soul will be free forever. Genevieve? Genevieve, where are you? She's regained her power. Little by little, she'll get more. And the terrible thing is that Malpurgis night is imminent. Endless horrors will begin to happen. According to the legend, the Valpurgis night is when Satan takes over. Yes. The devil will then have his power. Nothing can be done about it. Vampires will reign supreme. There'll be death and many strange things never seen by human beings. But what should we do? Pierre's coming. You must go with him. Get some gasoline and go from this place. We must inform the police. Also, the people of the village should be told about what's happening. Together we can fight. Nothing can be done about this. Believe me, I must fight by myself. Genevieve is still here. I can't leave her. I can't leave you, darling. I can't leave. Because I love you. I love you with all my heart. And as long as you're with me, I'm not afraid of anything. Pierre. Darling, go with him to the village. If you're going to stay, we need the car. And while you're gone, I'll make certain precautions for your safety. Take this cross and keep it with you at all times. It'll protect you from one day. on the old road. Might take time. You'll enjoy this way. Pierre, would you take me to the post office? I must mail a letter. At the Chat, there is no post office, but I would like you to see our nice butcher shop. There's many other interesting things in our village, like our peaceful little cemetery, like every Sunday. You know, people are afraid of those who live near the monastery. <laughs> they think I'm crazy. You don't think I'm crazy, do you? I get angry when people think I'm crazy. Well, I have a good reputation. I think all people should have a good reputation. Yes, I do. Did you hear about the woman? She was found murdered last night, near where you're living. Some say a werewolf tore open her throat. 
And I have been under suspicion. No, I never killed anyone. No, no. People blab all the time. They say a lot of things about me. It is only lies they are spreading. Rumors, and none of them are true. You're very beautiful. I love your long red hair. It's lovely. Don't ever cut it. Why do women cut their hair? Maybe they think it makes them look nicer. But it doesn't. Not at all. You know, I think I could like you. You know, there are many women I don't like. Not at all. Eh? There's a full moon. I know one desk is powerful, more powerful than ever. You can't sleep here. It's better for you in the lodge. There you'll be locked up and safe. And don't forget the cross, Elvira. Will you stay with me? You're in danger, too. No. I'll stay here. You must trust me. Why should the door be locked? They can pass through it. Don't ask any questions, darling. Just do as I say. Don't leave the lodge until after sunup.
And when I was exploring Tibet, I became a werewolf. Later, I took shelter in a remote village near the Austrian border. Elizabeth used to help me by chaining me to the wall any time there was a full moon. Then one night I got away and killed some people. The villagers found out about my secret. They shot at me with silver bullets. No bullet brought death to me. I'm condemned to wander about the world, lost soul. And only love can save you, am I right? Yes. That love must drive the hand and stab my heart. It must be done with a Mayenza cross in my soul. That's why you were looking for this cross. Yes, that's right. And unfortunately, it brought Wandessa back. And Genevieve's blood brought Wandessa back to life. Yes. She turned her into a vampire. And tried to do the same with Elizabeth. Maybe you'll be next. Wandessa will try to stay alive. For that horrible night of the Valpurgis. We must find out where she's hiding and try to destroy her. It's difficult. So many places. It takes time. We must try. She has the she has the power and we have the cross. The search should begin at the old cemetery. Yes, vampires need a tomb to hide in. I fear for you here. You must leave and get completely away. Go where? To the village? They're ignorant people, easy to get excited. Pierre must have told them something. Perhaps they found out what happened last night. Besides, I'm sure Wandessa will take her revenge against them. Their ancestors caused her death. I won't go. I'll stay with you, near you, darling.
Genevieve's death, she hasn't shown up at all. Tonight we will have a full moon. I want you to put me in chains. Stay at the lodge and don't forget the cross.
Elvira, I know our love has no future. But I want you to know that I'll remember this moment forever. Sure. Glass of wine, please. Have you seen the funeral? Another girl died. Nobody knows why they all died. But I think I know the reason. Listen. Was it a girl who had recently come here? A stranger? No. Not at all, but I think I know who you mean. Do you know where she is? The girl you want is living in the cottage. It used to belong to Monsieur Jacquet. Yes. It's down in the valley, past the old road. Take my advice. Don't go there. There was another murder there last night, and my boyfriend is missing. I had warned my poor Pierre, but he wouldn't listen to me. Why? What happened to him? Went to the old monastery near the night's tomb. Then he began to act in a peculiar way. He wouldn't even make love to me anymore. I'm sure somebody has bewitched him. He disappeared. Never come back. I'd like some proof of your story. A policeman. <laughs> You're used to facing dangerous criminals, aren't you? Because they're real human beings. But in that valley, they are mysterious, evil creatures. It's true. I have seen them by the full moon. Inspector, take care of yourself. Yeah, take care. Son, I'm sorry to find out about Elvira and me this way. I'd have preferred to tell you under different circumstances, but it's so difficult to explain. Perhaps the death of Genevieve brought us closer. Didn't you know? It's so difficult to explain. Because things here are quite normal. Marcel, it's difficult to understand me. It's not a matter of facts and figures. I need her. She's important to me. Marcel, I need her help. You say you need her. I suppose you can explain these strange deaths connected to you. Waldemar, I'm fully prepared to get a complete investigation underway, even though it's not my jurisdiction. 
All this talk about werewolves and vampires. I don't believe in such fairy tales. I deal only in concrete evidence. And I can't expose Olira to unknown problems. And something else, Waldemar. I've heard certain things that needs a special investigation from a policeman to clear things up. Because you see, it seems that Pierre Grillon, your handyman, has been found killed near the Knight's Tomb. The Knight's Tomb. Naturally, I don't believe these rumors and accusations against you. Without all the facts. I just want Elvira out of danger, and if you loved her, you'd want the same thing, too. It's important, especially if you want me to believe you. To help convince Elvira, since she has this strange attachment for you, to leave this place and come away with me. What's most important to me is something non-explainable. She must stay here. Now look here. No way possible she's going to stay behind with you. It's insanity. There's something mad about you. How can you expect her to remain here with you? I know she should go back to civilization, familiar surroundings, to be with her friends, be far off, away from the spell you've cast upon her. Then she'll come back to her normal senses. And I assure you, if Elvira desires to return, come back, I mean. I'll agree once you're cleared. I guess you're right. Marcel, I'll convince Elvira to return with you. Thank you, Waldemar. I wait in my car. If you really love me, Elvira, you'll leave this place. I need the cross now, and if you stay, I must give it to you for protection. Marcel is outside in his car, waiting to take you from here. Please leave me now. I can't leave you. Wandessa needs blood. If I don't stop her in time, she'll be turning other young girls into vampires. The reign of terror won't stop. I think I know where she's hiding. Please go. Your leaving will be peace of mind for me. No. Tonight is Valpurgis night. Wandessa could acquire terrible powers. I must destroy her before. It was your letter that brought Marcel. He won't leave without you, so please leave. My darling, I love you. I love you.
be Satan's slaves. Then I will take my revenge against Waldemar. He won't be able to save you. <laughs> Lord Satan will come. You will be his. Your young blood will make him rejoice.
now you're free forever. Thank <laughs> you.